in this video I'm going to show you how to make these very quick, very simple forest, woodland or jungle bases for your miniatures. Let's get started. First stage is to prime the base and then we need to base coat it with a dark brown. I am using uh, GW's Rhinox Hide. Uh, simply apply brown base coat all over the base. This is going to be in case any of the uh, sort of scatter, sort of any gaps or small spaces uh, in the in the scatter uh, show through. All you see is brown underneath, not a black or a grey base. So uh, one good coat of Rhinoxide or a dark brown paint and let that dry. Once that paint is dry, simply apply PVA glue over the entire base. Reasonable coat. You want everything to be covered pretty well. Use an old brush or a stick, uh, whatever you've got to push it around. You basically, you want to cover the entire base. Make sure you push it right out to the edges as far as you can without obviously going over. Any bits that go over, you can clean up uh, with a damp cloth or some paper towel or something like that. So try and get everything covered. Quick and simple. Once the base is completely covered in glue, you want to put it on some paper or one of these sort of takeaway tubs is very, very handy, which will catch any excess scatter and then you can reuse it instead of uh, throwing it away. So a little tub or piece of paper, whatever works for you. Next, we'll be applying our base scatter. Uh, I am using Forest Floor uh, for forest, woodland, jungle bases. Uh, instant base scatter from Rival Crafts. Very quick, simple, give it a shake. Uh, you want to make sure it's got a good good selection of, uh, as I said, these base scatters are fantastic. They've got a nice mix of larger particles, little rocks. Um, just really nice to use. Very quick, very, very simple. So give it a really good cover. Uh, and then simply leave that good few hours overnight if you can uh, to dry. And then we'll, let, we'll come back to that when that is dry. I've left this to dry overnight, so give it a good 24 hours and then very simply shake off any excess. And there is your forest floor. Now is the fun part of applying all the foliage. For the foliage, I am using a selection of preserved mosses uh, from all from Rival Crafts. I will put the link for Rival Crafts down in the description. Uh, I am going to be using star moss. Uh, we have hair moss. Uh, some vine moss. Flat moss and then just some uh, olive green flock. Loads of different colours uh, depending on obviously what you're doing. Woodland, forest is going to be sort of more browny, earthy, greeny tones. Uh, for jungle you're probably looking at brighter greens, uh, more vibrant colours and a heavier density of foliage as well. So uh, let's start applying these to the base. Uh, this is the star moss from Rival Crafts. Um, depending on how long you want your plants... You can either have very tall plants, snip them down here. I'm just using a snipper. I'm just going to cut them off uh, to get the sort of length of plant that you are looking for, the length of the foliage, depending on the size of the base. I suppose bigger bases, you could put a lot more foliage and have it a lot taller and a lot denser. Obviously, this is only a 32 mil base, and you've got to get a model on there as well, so maybe don't look at too much on there. Very simple. Take the end of it. I'm just going to dip the end into some PVA glue. Just a small amount of glue at the end, and then just place them roughly where you want them on the base. So they should stand up with the glue, and, and just basically just keep building up however much you want. As I said, you can put as much or as little on as you want, but obviously do not forget again, I've got a model to fit on here, uh, and just build them up. Uh, and just start building your base like that. As I said, I work. You can work around the back. Also, also remember, you've got a model to fit on here. So work out where the model is going to stand and then build the foliage around where the model is going to be standing. Um, use a combination of all of the different mosses. Makes it look a bit more uh, varied, I suppose. Uh, another quite a nice little tip as well as these little paper plants. Uh, these happen to be from Green Stuff World, but loads of companies do these. And there's 3D printed options as well. Uh, these are really good, really cheap and very easy to use. You just pop them out and then you can just sort of curl them very slightly with a brush. Uh, and attach them as you wish. So we'll just keep building this up and we'll come back to this in a couple of minutes. 
that is all the different mosses added. I've used a good selection there. We've even, uh, even added a few slate granules, again, from Rival Crafts. Just add, like, the effect of a small, few small stones. All that is left to do is to simply just paint the uh, edge of the base any colour that you prefer uh, and super glue your model to it. And that is it. Again, trying to keep things super quick, super simple and hassle free. The basing scatters, the instant basing scatter from Rival Craft are really good, really speeds things up. Uh, they've got a nice selection of everything in them and then just literally just glue some mosses on it. It is that simple. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.